Hello everyone, <laughs> and welcome to uh, looking back on Acid Rap. So this is going to be a, a series where I look back on um, some of the the albums I just absolutely love, or oh, maybe even some trash ones. Um, hopefully not too often. I don't want to keep stumbling over awful albums, but uh, not today. We're going over the mixtape Acid Rap, uh, released 2013 by Chance the Rapper. And, oh, I mean, Chance's music is just, it's incredible in general, um, but I think this is the... I won't say peak. I think he's gonna get better. I believe in his return. His new um, his new single that he released on YouTube. I don't know if it's on Spotify or not. I don't know. I uh, know it's not on Apple Music anyway. Uh, it was awesome. It was amazing. Um, but um, uh, Coring Book was very very good. I do I do really like that. Um, but Acid Rap is so so good. And um, we're gonna walk through that today. Um. Ten. Damn. Days and now I got to show for it the shoes and shows and chauffeurs roaring in any in, in any industry, whether it's music or uh, YouTube, uh, video creating type stuff, whatever it is, there needs to be more positivity, and Chance really brings that. Um, so, the sad area and what I'm uh, referencing here is um, basically the, the emo rap stage uh, with Juice World and uh, all these lils that are talking about pills and uh, killing themselves and stuff like that in their squeaky voices. Um, maybe the, the odd one is fine, and I'm not saying I want um, hip hop to turn pop, um, which I think it already has to be honest, but I think uh, Chance's positivity is um, really something diverse and really really something different and uh it's it's just so creative and uh he he structures it so well as well it's it's kind of a nice uh bright light uh we go we go we dive straight into the album with um better than i was the last time baby ooh, ooh, ooh. good ass intro it reminds me of drake era by jpeg mafia two completely different types of songs in terms of uh aspects of the genre no matter what side of the spectrum spectrum it is it's innovative it's creative it's something new and that's why i like both of them but the reason i compared good ass intro uh is with um with drake era because it uh because it kind of came in as this isn't something new you're not going to get the same uh, she left me and uh, I felt sad. I popped pills. I felt ill. Right, that, that's boring. That's boring. But no, though, no, when you dive into um, into Drake era, you have these like loud sounds and uh, J P Mafia just riled up. He hates Eminem. He uh, he hates emos. He he hates. Everything, <laughs> and it's fun. It's fun. It's not the same thing over and over again. I don't. I won't mind if someone came in with emo rap, and it was something different. I think that's why Juice World and XX Tentacion was. I know it's Triple X. I don't don't care. Um, was so popular because it was something different. But then everyone wanted to be, especially um Juice World. It's a bit easier to replicate him than Air. Uh, XXX Tentacion. But everyone wanted to be Juice World and they decided to copy him. And that's when it's, it's disappointing. And you, you want you want bigger names that are gonna take charge, not a uh, sheep that are gonna follow maybe pick a, a bit of money that Juice World and XXX Tentacion are gonna drop on the way. But meanwhile the chance and uh, JPEG Mafia with their songs, they jump straight into it and like, this is different, this is to get yourself ready for whatever it's going to be, whether it's, I hate Drake, man, I hate him, I, I mean, I think it's a little uncalled for, 
uh, but I get what I get. I get what he means uh, about the 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 constant hip hop turn pop, and then and then uh, acid rap is just positive. Like uh, if if ultralight beam obviously it came out before ultralight beam, but if ultralight beam. I know that's uh, easy to compare because chances on that song. But if Ultralight Beam was just raised in in tempo and uh, just excitement, and uh, I just love the intro. It's one of my favorite intros, and um, and just this like choir type singing of "Better Than I Was the Last Time, Baby." Ooh, 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 I'm good. Right, it's it's just it gives me goosebumps. It's it's an incredible intro, and then I think I think that's why it's so well structured. Structured, because after that we um we get pushing on, which is it's still positive, but you can you can feel like dimming down. It's like the um the very purpley parts of the cover. And so I really like that cover. It looks cool anyway, but it does kind of feel like the album, and. When when it when it goes when it goes down when it when it when it goes down in tempo, you know it's it's done very well. It's very well structured, much better structure than the Corin book, and um, it goes into paranoia, which is just dreamy, moody. Still got that light tone. So when it hooks into Coca Butter Kisses, um, it's perfect. It's still got that 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 um that excitement and we are ready for it just all that energy but it's still even even cocoa butter kisses isn't like they just threw in no problem in there it's still got that moody um kind of aesthetic to it and it's um it can be slowed at times and it's still it's perfectly fitting with the album but you can still feel that positive pos- positivity being raised if you see me in school and I'm like waving my head or bopping my head, and I'm I'm like, I'm I'm looking like I'm having an incredible dream. I'm listening to, um, <laughs> I'm listening to Lost, <laughs> whether it's an earphone or my head, um, and and I'm loving it, and it's just again dreamy. It's moody. It's it's purple. It's it feels purple. I don't know how he man- managed it, but it feels purple, and I, I love it. I do, um, but then it goes into interlude that's love, and you can feel that that spirit again. And I'm guessing that's where he um he really does find uh, that love, <laughs> um because in the in the first half he's kind of going through the these stages of um coca coca butter kisses is it's, a, it's an upbeat song i can listen to it and be really happy but it is kind of uh beaten down a bit in the lyrics uh, a bit like maybe day and night by Cuddy. and pursuit of happiness uh which is beautiful uh, Cuddy in general right kid Cuddy is he's, he's incredible uh but <laughs> and paranoia lost i think it is perfect really and yeah, interlude. It's literally the interlude, uh, number eight, which is uh, just past the halfway point. Uh, with that slow, and you know, it's snappy and it's back. It's back up to that upbeat of a good ass intro. You know, we we're better than the last time we was, baby. Nana or oh, nana, nana, nana. Uh, in the song. He just he, he he's still having fun. It's still got that moody essence. So we're still being reminded. We're still listening to the same mixtape, but he's having fun. Um, he's he's coming up with his funny bars. He's having these weird breaks, and it just kind of makes you chuckle a little bit. Uh, in one of the lines, he says, <laughs> "Acid, acid, get it? Acid melts through plastic. I spit fired. Pad my palate. Talking paper. If this was work, I'd get high." <laughs> <laughs> but then it's written as you know, higher as in hired. <laughs> ah, ah, this song. I forgot how good that song is actually. Yeah, at the very end, very end of uh, Smoke again. He he has this voice kind of dulling down a little bit at the very end, but it's still enough for it to transfer into Acid Rain, and it's perfect. It really is. 
And then we go into uh, chain smoke. I feel like this man, man, he's, he's so perfect uh, at the structuring. In this, in this anyway, I don't think it's so good on Cora and Bot, but I still like that. Um, he's he's got the the upbeat again. It reminds me of um, Pusher Man and Lost. Maybe everyone is something I don't know, but um, it's still got that that upbeat. It's still got the 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 kind of funk to it but then it's also got the soul he's got the lo-fi type thing and it's really cool and everything and everybody's just vibing and having a good time and he's he's got this beat so he kind of remembers how it, it was the last time baby uh, I can't, and then we go on to everything's good this is what I was talking about when he, he's talking and it goes just naturally into the, the song and into an incredible versey verse. Thanks for coming, guys. Remember sitting in class the first time listening to Dillo. Everything's good. Everything's good. Rubbing on your chins in the gym, Margella, Branch, and Chillo. Everything's good. Everything's good. My manager back, 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 way back to cigarette. And um, it's got these nice keys, which are still positive and lo-fi. Um, and he's on a call with his dad, which which just is like, thanks for coming, guys, and stuff like that. That's really cool. And um, uh, I don't know. It is um, it is really cool um, what he did with that song. And then and then the beat, beat uh, builds up and he goes, but it's still, it's still got that. Whew, and um, all these like cool like I don't know what it feels like you've you've reached the peak of humanity and you're just feeling great because everything's good like the title says and that's my kind of like run through um acid rap um and I, I don't have all these technical words for uh, what I think of the mixtape how it made me feel with the BPM and the I know BPM is not very technical, but that's like, that's that's an example. But I don't know technical words. Uh, I'm just telling you how goddamn good this mixtape is, and don't go in it expecting some Kendrick verses of um of you know his depression after leaving the Mad City. Like I love that, but it's it's a different territory. You gotta be ready. For certain things, and I think I think Chance does that for you anyway. Like I said with the intro, but but just straight in with how it's going to be, regardless of your feelings, and that's why I'm playing it all the time. <laughs> uh, but that's the end of the video. Um, that's half an hour. That's fun. Uh, it's going to be very fun editing. So I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, I will see you tomorrow for the podcast and the match re uh, preview so that's a lot <laughs> and also the two-pack tournament is going on right now on the instagram we're about to be in the semi-finals i think i think yeah it should be in the semi-finals and wow there are some controversial um controversial results i'd say uh, me against the world is out let's just say that and i'm i'm with it <laughs> i'm with it so go ahead and vote, probably. Hopefully I do have it up by now. And um, if you're watching this video in the future or the, the, the tournament's just ended or whatever, uh, feel free to stay around anyway because we're doing amazing stuff all the time. And we've also got the website running, which is updated daily at the moment. I'm doing well, man. I'm doing incredible. And uh, we've also got... Um, uh, Spotify podcasts, uh, which are updated pretty much every day at this point for how often City play. But if City isn't your jazz, um, we do have just like a, a comedy podcast that's airing every Saturday uh, or Sunday morning, depending about how late we stay up. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so I uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, what do you think of Acid Wrapped? Do you like it? Do you think Chance can uh, get back to normal? Your answer really should be yes, but it, whatever. Um, and is it his best project? 
or is it coloring book, or is it ten day, or is it? We're not saying big day. <laughs> Out with the three. Out with the two. It's only between coloring book and um, acid rap, really. But chance is awesome. Chance, thanks for delivering is such a cool thing. But please do uh, release your new single on on Apple Music because I want to listen to it more. Uh, but the music video is very cool, though. Uh, anyway, hope you have a good day. I'll see you probably within the next few hours with all this content. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right, see you. Bye.